Okay, I'm ready. Is that the tie you're wearing? <laughs> no, it's a practice tie. I'm saving the real tie for the big game. Why do men always look like they dress themselves in the dark? <laughs> you know, you look fantastic. I do, don't I? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Jimmy, I know that we haven't been intimate since the baby, and, and, and it's because I just you know, haven't been ready. But I feel like I'm almost ready. I'm starting to be ready to be ready, and, and then, uh... <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm ready. Well, I, I didn't mean right this second. Well, too late. <laughs> I think I already started. Well, throw it in reverse. I can't throw it in reverse. If I throw it in reverse, the whole transmission's liable to hit the floor. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm just saying that I am... Starting to feel sexy again, and that pretty soon I will be ready. Well, the moment you feel ready, honey, just say the word. In fact, you don't even have to say the whole word. Just say rip. <laughs> Jimmy, you make it sound like we haven't had sex in a year. It's been six weeks. Six weeks? Oh, big deal. Six weeks is not that long. It is if you're a guy. Well, let me put it in terms you might understand. Imagine six weeks without buying a pair of shoes. <laughs> You poor baby. Yeah. Okay, I got the flour, the sugar, the coconut, and the vanilla. Oh, good. Now, all you need is my secret ingredient. And what is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> You said you'd teach me how to make your secret cupcakes. I changed my mind. Grandma! Well, it's a secret recipe. I'm famous for it. I can't tell it to just anybody. But I'm your granddaughter. Oh, sweetheart, you're gonna have to do better than that. <laughs> oh, what a fabulous day. I bought seven pairs of shoes. <laughs> I'm spent. I'm glad it worked for you, honey. Can I get you a cigarette and a slice of pizza? Your day will come, dear. Mud eight, sir, I gotta go. Whoa, 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 whoa. He honks? No, that's his car. Don't sass me, girl. I've been shoe shopping. I'm very tense. <laughs> now, who's the guy? Just a guy. His name's Eric. She's gonna let him go to second base. <laughs> Daddy, she's been reading my diary. Oh, that is a terrible breach of trust. Donna, you always read her diary. You never told me anything about this. <laughs> I'm just gonna go look at my shoes. What's in your base? It's when the guy... Ma? <laughs> well, if you'd let me finish. I was saying, in my day, second base was when a guy bought you a cherry Coke and you looked at lightning bugs on the front porch swing. Thank you. With your blouse off. <laughs> Thank you, Mother, for that Norman Rockwell moment. <laughs> Why don't you bring the boy in so we can all meet him? Oh, I so hate this part. <laughs> now, Jimmy, don't scare him. Oh, Donna, come on. When have I ever scared anybody in my life? Mm, this is my big chance. <laughs> was that really what second base was? No, no. Second base is what's going to be on Eric's autopsy report as cause of death. <laughs> everyone, this is Eric. Eric, this is everyone. OK, bye. Hey, wait a second. Hi, Eric. Come on in. <laughs> my name's Mr. Styles. But you can call me by my prison name, The Blade. <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Styles. My what? Well, I make furniture. <laughs> yeah, you made our dining room table. It's fantastic. Solid maple with the mahogany inlay. Fantastic. Hey, the kid knows about mahogany inlay. Oh, well, isn't that sweet? You hardly get to see wood geeks anymore. <laughs> Let's just let the kids get on with their right. date, okay? <laughs> Eric, tell me you have another change of clothes in the car. Uh, no, uh, sorry. Well, I'm not going out with you in that goofy jacket and that little crest. I mean, you look like Richie Rich. I think you look snazzy. Snazzy? That's the highest compliment you can give a wood geek. Why do all guys look like they dress themselves in the dark? Oh, isn't that cute? That's exactly what I always say to you. Oh. Yeah, and so the torch has been passed. <laughs> Where are you kids off to? I'm taking her to dinner at my father's country club. Oh, what country club's that? Sheridan Hills. <laughs> Sheridan Hills? The Sheridan Hills. 
the lush green oasis that is Sheridan Hills, the almost impossible to play on Sheridan Hills. Well, not if your name is Eric Sheridan. Oh, yeah, but whose name? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mr. Stiles, maybe you'd like to play golf at Sheridan Hills this weekend? Son, would it be weird if I just held you for a moment? <laughs> weird. That's second base, isn't it? No, honey. That's third. Oh, the towel. The wood. This is snazzy. Lee Trevino? Lee Trevino has a locker here? This is Lee Trevino's locker? Oh, my God. Lee Trevino's pants. I'm touching Lee Trevino's pants. Oh, I'm smelling Lee Trevino's pants. Now I'm watching a man watching me smell Lee Trevino's pants. Now I'm putting, putting away Lee Trevino's pants. Now I'm deeply ashamed. I have just enjoyed the most gratifying bathroom experience of my adult life. Not only was there a little pine shelf for your sunglasses and keys, but I'll be damned if there wasn't moisturizer in the toilet paper. You want to smell Lee Trevino's pants? Do I ever? Hey, 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 hey. Eric, hi. Hey. Call me Jimmy. Or if you like, Dad. <laughs> Listen, uh, thanks for letting me bring my friend Gene along. Yeah. I hope you don't mind, but I invited Greg to play with us. Greg? Greg Norman. Oh, my God, we're going to play golf at Sheridan Hills with Greg Norman? You think you know what happiness is, and then this, and... I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we can play tomorrow, too. You know, I can always blow off that thing I have on Sundays. Uh, what'd you call it? Church. That, that's it. I know I said we'd play tomorrow, but Bonnie told me I couldn't have to go to the art museum with her. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he's been talking to women. Yeah, you saw that coming, didn't you, Jimmy boy? What? Saw what coming? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll hard. I'm whipped, aren't I? Whipped? You damn near pureed. Yeah, it's sad. And then, I mean, you know what's gonna happen to guys like us, but to see it happen in a kid that young. Damn it, Jimmy, why? You know, Eric, relationships are tricky. It's not always easy to assert yourself. I know, but you know, Bonnie, she's kind of bossy. I'm kind of not bossy. I don't know if this relationship's gonna work. Not gonna work? Oh, why don't we live in Bangladesh, Jimmy? Then we just give him the damn girl. Gee! <laughs> you're right, you're right. I'm, I'm just feeling a little crazy.